Hello, Sagittarius. I'm back with another reading for you guys to see um, if the person that you're thinking about, if they're coming back, if union is likely between the two of you, um, and, and just check in on them. Okay? So this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. And um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Into a few more shuffles. Sagittarius. currently going on with Sagittarius. Okay. Ooh, the devil. Some of you are on a cusp with um, Capricorn here. Um, I feel you guys are being very sexual at this time. I do feel that you miss somebody terribly and you feel truly like connected to this person and you don't know if it's normal, like your normal attraction or, or your normal um, uh, uh, feelings that you have for this person you just don't know but you feel very drawn to somebody I feel uh, I feel like a lot of you guys are working really hard right now I feel like right now you're doing pretty good though I think you're just like overcome with some sort of um, attraction or reaction to a situation and or person okay What's currently going on with the other person? We have a fool there. That's the Aries energy starting over. Um, I do see this person as being single currently. This person takes risks. Okay. I feel like they are happy go lucky. Lucky they have like this very kind of young um, aura or spirit uh, with them. Hmm. What does Sagittarius want? What does Sagittarius want? This card is wanting to come out here. The High Priestess. Hmm. Want to know what to do. What's the right thing to do? What should you do? What should you do? Your heart is pulling you somewhere. You guys may be with someone currently, and but you desire someone else. This Pisces energy here with the High Priestess, there definitely may be an Aries Pisces uh, type of energy that I feel like you guys are being drawn to. Hmm. What is the other person? want what does the other person want okay and oh okay so we have a tower in reverse here uh, this is Scorpio energy yes Aries is very strong for you guys Aries and Scorpio they their energy is similar Scorpio is way more intense than Aries though but they they kind of behave um, in the same sort of way but this is a tower in reverse. This person wants stability. And I feel like this is somebody that you've been with before for sure. Of course, because we're wondering if they're coming back. But this is somebody that you um, had this... <clears throat> had this, um, this stormy, sort of rocky situation with. And it fell apart. It came crashing down. I feel like this person wants to repair something with you, for sure. This person wants to repair something with you. I feel like um, when you were together before, the situation, they're not proud of how the situation played out with you guys before. They're not proud of it at all. And they would really like to start over. They would really like to do things differently. <clears throat> and I definitely see that and maybe you guys have moved on but this person's still here I feel like you really and truly desire this person 
what is this card wanting to jump? And that would be confirmation. That Ace of Swords. What I just said. Okay. What does Sagittarius need? Five of Wands. Fight for what you want. Okay. Clear that conflict. I feel like some of you are definitely in relationships or you're involved with someone at this point or there's talks of of being with someone else but um, I feel like you guys want to fight for something you want to go for something else here but at the same time I feel like you don't want to give up on your current situation oh what a tangled web we weave. I don't think you're deceiving anybody though. I think you're just having these feelings and you keep them to yourself. Here. Yeah. Okay. What does the other person need? What does the other person need? King of Swords. Hmm. Figure out what, what it is that they want to do. King of Swords is very studious. Um, and this is a researcher. You know, find out what they want to do and speak it clearly. I do feel like they're, um, they're kind of avoiding something here. I feel like they need to speak up. Because I feel like they're, they're also observing you. They're observing the situation. But this person hasn't spoken up. So I do feel like they need to speak up about whatever transpired between you two before. Speak up about the fact that they want to mend something. How they're not proud of whatever happened between the two of you. They need to voice that. Articulate what they want. Okay. Because it's, it's cool to be like um, flirty and and playful, but when it's time to handle business, it's time to handle business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what they need to do. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Is there someone else involved for Sagittarius? Queen of Swords here. I feel like there is someone else involved. This is somebody that I don't think that you guys may be feeling like that. Um, this person may be kind of cold and mean at times. But for some of you, there is definitely somebody else involved. This person can be kind of bitchy in your opinion. Whether male or female. Um, but yeah, there's somebody here, but I feel like you're not that happy right now. I feel like you are attached, some of you, but you're not that happy right now. Hmm. Some of you are definitely not with someone and, um, you still kind of feel scorned. And I can see that you probably have some shit to feel scorned about. So, and, and trying not to, you're trying to figure out here, like, is this shit normal? Why am I still thinking about this person? Why am I still thinking about this person? Heads turn that way, away from the person. Like, I shouldn't be thinking about them. Look what they did. They did this. So... Is there somebody involved for the other person? Because we have the King and the Queen of Swords here. So um, I feel like both of you kind of have your backs turned a little bit. This person needs to address whatever it is that um, uh, they want to take responsibility for. Because there's something they want to take responsibility for here. 
And I don't know if you are ready to hear it. I think you are because your body's turned this way. Your head's just turned that way. So you haven't quite given up yet. <clears throat> Is there someone else involved for them? Eight of Cups. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. They may have been at one point in time, but I don't feel like they are any longer. Mm -mm. Eight of Cups, you know, is, is being like not fulfilled. They're not happy. They walked away from something that was not making them happy. So Piscean energy there. They felt like it wasn't making them happy. I feel like this person left because they felt like the grass was greener on the other side, but they have found out that that shit is not true. The grass just looks greener on the other side, okay? There's a shadow. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, God, okay. It's union likely. It's union likely. Sagittarius in their person is union likely. Eight of Wands. I feel like it is so. I feel like you guys may receive a message from this person, some sort of communication from this person. It is indeed likely with the Eight of Wands energy there. Okay. So that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.